So today I talked about a P0302 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0302 code? Well, it's a cylinder to misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder needs to have the correct air fuel ratio mixture going in. And then at the right time, the spark plug sends out a spark that's going to ignite this mixture. And this causes combustion, which pushes down on the cylinder, which turns the crank and keeps the engine running. And when you get a misfire, something's gone wrong with this. The combustion is not happening for some reason, or it's happening sometimes and not other times. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And a P0302 code is going to point to the number two cylinder. If you were to get a P0301, that would be the number one cylinder. A P0303, that would be the number three cylinder, and so on. And so if you go Google your engine, along with firing order or cylinder location, you should be able to look at Google Images, and you should be able to locate the number two cylinder on your particular vehicle. And that's going to be the cylinder that the computer's seeing a problem with, and the one to go and check out. And one thing to note about these misfire codes is that if you're only getting one misfire code, like you're only getting this P0302 code, then very likely it's only going to be components on that cylinder. So that'd be like the coil on that cylinder, the ejector on that cylinder, or the spark plug on that cylinder. So you can't just go check out those individual components on that cylinder. But if you're getting multiple misfire codes, so say you're getting like P0303, P0304, along with the P0300, or something like that, then that would be something that would be affecting the whole engine. So very likely in that case, it would be something like a bad fuel pump and it wasn't sending out the correct fuel pressure. Then that would affect multiple cylinders and that would cause issues. So if you are troubleshooting a misfire code, it can be different depending on how many misfire codes you're getting. If you're only getting one misfire code, very likely it's only going to be the components on that one cylinder. If you're getting multiple misfire codes, then that's going to be something that affects the whole engine. And so what are some possible causes of a P0302 code? Well, it could be a bad spark plug or a bad spark plug wire, could be a bad coil, could be a bad fuel injector. And if you have an older vehicle, then it could be a bad distributor cap. And so how would you go about troubleshooting a P0302 code? Well, the first thing to do is go locate that cylinder number two and then check all the components that are related to spark. So this would be things like a spark plug wire, the spark plug, the coil, things like this. There's different types of coils that engines can have depending on the year, the make, the model, different things like this. But they all do the same thing. They just send out high voltage to the spark plug so it can send out a spark when it's needed. If you happen to have coils like this, you can't swap it with another cylinder and see if the problem follows. So for example, you could swap out cylinder number two with cylinder number one. And then if you get a P0301 code, then you know that coil's gone bad. A really quick way to rule out if there's any kind of spark problem is to check to see if you are getting spark. And there's some different ways to go about doing this. One method is to use a spark tester tool. And basically the way these work is one side goes on the spark plug and then the other side goes through the coil. And then you start up the engine. And if you're getting spark, you'll be able to see it inside of here. And then you know you're getting spark, so then you can move on to testing for fuel. These are low-cost tools, usually less than like $10, $15. I'll put a link down below if you need to check one out. But the first thing to do is check and be sure that you're getting spark going to the number two cylinder. If you are getting spark on the number two cylinder, then the next thing to go and check is to check the fuel injector. And again, there's different ways to go about doing this. If they're easy to get to, sometimes you can just swap them out with another one and see if the problem follows. So for example, if you swapped out that cylinder number two injector with cylinder number one, and then you got a P0301 code, then you would know that injector is bad. Sometimes those injectors are kind of hard to get to. And so you can also test them with the multimeter. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing the injectors with the multimeter. But the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel injector on cylinder number two. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0302 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.